You know how we keep calling Tea Partiers Nazis? Here's a good reason why. Ken Crow is a former head of Tea Party of America. Now he's the head of a thing called the Tea Party Community. Here he is speaking in public about immigration. One of the things of being raised on a ranch in Texas is you learn about breeding. You learn about breeding livestock, you learn about breeding horses. And believe it or not, I'm here to talk to you about your breeding. You are American patriots. You came from those incredible bloodlines of Thomas Jefferson and George Washington and John Smith and all these great Americans and Martin Luther King, these great Americans that built this country. You came from them. And a unique thing about being from that part of the world when you learn about breeding is you learn that you cannot breed secretariat to a donkey and expect to win the Kentucky Derby. You guys have incredible DNA and don't forget it. Wow, the guy's actually making the argument that people who were born outside of the United States are genetically inferior to people who were born inside the United States, so therefore we should stop immigration. Think about this. DNA and breeding were actually used as arguments against immigration. As imagine, if you make a public statement like this, you have to defend yourself. So he took to Twitter when criticized for it and said the whole DNA thing was supposed to be referring to the American spirit and that therefore other people don't have it. Now obviously this makes no sense and when called on that he said, well it was 105 degrees outside and the heat made me kind of fuzzy. This kind of virulent anti-immigration argumentation sits very well within the concept of American exceptionalism, the belief that Americans are somehow superior to everybody else, whilst ignoring their entirely hugely privileged position that they actually came from, and by that I mean the country itself. I find this whole thing, comparing themselves to Jefferson, Washington, and Smith, kind of hilarious when you consider most of these people, and the people like them, were wealthy white landowners who essentially didn't care about working class people, like say, the people in the Tea Party. This is the kind of first world self-indulgence that we see from privileged workers in the first world, primarily those who come from the middle class, who have this mentality that they are somehow inherently superior to other working class people. This kind of mentality is reactionary as hell, and at least shows, at least on the level of mentality, that there is a divide between first world workers and third world workers. This perceived superiority is a social construct. It's not real. It's not based on any real material conditions. What is, is the privileged position in which they come from, which leads to them believing that they are superior. There is a real material basis for their belief that they are superior, but in reality does not actually confirm this. I mean, there's a huge argument here that can be made with materialist dialectics, but that would be a long explanation outside the scope of this video. Lenin correctly said that fascism is capitalism and decay, and we can see that here. It's not just something that comes from the government, it's a mentality that encroaches in people's minds. Well, we see this with uh, you know, a lot of the European states right now that are in severe economic crisis. Fascists are rising up in large numbers. I mean, this is a natural product of the capitalist system failing. So I repeat. Lenin was very right when he said that fascism is capitalism in decay. This false consciousness held by many first world workers in which they believe that they are superior to other workers, particularly in the third world, is something that must be combated with the deep study and struggle, without which we can never reach a radical reorganization of society along new class lines. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share on various social media. And if you want, there's some other good videos here you can check out.